to the point. I think everyone has heard of the famous series with Harry Potter. I mean, what's not appealing about a giant homeless man barging into your house and saying that you're a wizard? This ultimately leads to you fighting a two-faced middle-aged man. Sounds fun, right? But in all seriousness, there's many ways that Harry Potter can relate to everyday life, especially through themes. One of which, which is clearly seen behind all the magic, is to never underestimate your abilities. Now, I might not be able to relate to stopping the Dark Lord or anything, but I can relate to the theme in a sense where I used to not try in school, because I felt that even if I did try, I would fail. But I realized my mistake, and I tried my hardest to get where I am today. With a little effort, you can achieve anything. Never underestimate your abilities. Harry was raised to believe that he was never special, and he would never be special. That his cousin Dudley would always deserve more than him. Dudley states, 36, he said, looking up at his mother and father, but that's two less than last year. You can see this on Dudley's birthday, when he gets 36 presents and still manages to complain, when Harry gets nothing for his birthday. Every year, Harry sees how Dudley is treated better than him. This takes a mental toll on Harry. Siblings are supposed to be treated as equals. You shouldn't let other people's opinions diminish your self-confidence. After being mistreated, Harry couldn't see a future for himself. Hagrid states, Harry, you're a wizard. He says, I'm a what? So when Hagrid introduces this new meaning to life, Harry cannot believe it. Suddenly, Harry can catch a glimpse of what his future might hold, and all he needs to do is create his own path. But later in the novel, you can see how Harry has actually progressed. He's made friends, found hobbies, and found a new home of sorts where he could really fit in. The ironic thing is, Harry thought he would never be able to accomplish anything important in his life. But he already had done something great, and he was famous for it. And he would have to fight the same battle in the book. And as a first year student, that's a big responsibility. Especially because every day of his childhood, a mental barrier was just put on brick by brick. It became increasingly harder and harder to get over this obstacle in his life. He wanted to do great things, but he just didn't have the energy to do so after being discouraged so much. But with the help of friends, Harry was able to adjust to new customs, a new school, and stop the Dark Lord. If Harry had learned any of this would happen, his mind would have been blown. I mean, just a year prior, Harry had been living in a cupboard underneath the stairs. And that just shows how much you can accomplish if you're given the opportunity. Overall, Harry Potter shows many reasons why to never underestimate your abilities. Because if Harry had, he would have never went to Hogwarts, or met Ron Herm or Hermione, learned spells and wizardry, or had joined Quidditch. All of these things, you could feel by J.K. Rowling's novel, filled Harry's heart with joy. Those are all reasons why he shouldn't have underestimated. Now, think of yours.